Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to do the rest of my lipstick declutter. I know that the last one was a really long video. I felt like it was chaotic, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. But I've got my last things here full of lipstick. And I think this is all of my stuff. So when I say last things, I've got three drawers like this. And then I have another thing like this. So let's go ahead and get through these bad boys. So right off top, I have an Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills lipstick. This is in the shade Crush. I love this formula and I love this color. So I will be keeping that one. I have a Kylie uh, Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I know that Kylie has changed her brand and revamped, but I'm keeping this. This is the only lipstick of hers that I have, and the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks are the only ones of hers that I'd liked. And this is like one of my favorite colors. That's why I'm keeping it. So, um, the next one is the Tarte uh, in Birthday Suit. I'm going to let that one go because it's a lot like the two colors that I just kept. I have this Buxom lipstick in the color Plump. Uh, it's Come to Dolly, and it's Va the Vava Va Plump volume. Uh, looks like that. It's a very beautiful color, and I will be keeping that. I have a lip balm here from um, Sol de Janeiro. I don't know why it's in this thing over here. It doesn't really show much color. We'll put it over here because it should be in my prep step. I have the e.l.f. lipstick in the color cream. Guys, this lipstick is $2, but it is the prettiest color, and I will be keeping it. I love. It's like my perfect pink nude. I have the uh, Wet n' Wild Flirt Alert in the um, Liquid Cat Suit Mega Last. This is the Mega Shine Lipstick. It looks like that. I will be keeping that one. I have a Moose Cosmetics in the shade Lip 206. I am going to let this one go because it is a lot like the other ones that I have kept already. That one right there. <sighs> Here is one by Ofra in the shade Mocha. Mocha, Mocha. Right there, that is. And I will be keeping this one because I love that color. I know that Ofra's got some stuff going on with them right now. And again, just like Morphe, I'm not currently buying from them. But the things that I have already spent my money on that I like, I will be keeping. Um, here is another one from the Balm. This one is in Neho. I love these uh, lip colors from the Balm. They are so good. That is the color right there. And I'm going to be keeping that because it is so comfortable and thin on the lips. Here is another metallic from AOA in the shade Diamond. Right there. I'm going to let that one go. Here is one from Dose of Colors in the shade Flirty. Flirty, flirty. Right there. I will be keeping that one. Here is another Ofra in the shade Monaco. Right there. I am going to keep that one because I've got rid of a lot of my metallics. And I'd like to keep one or two around just in case. Um, I have these two uh, creamy lip glosses from AOA in Starlet and City Girl. This is my two favorite colors. I'm keeping those. This is a liquid cat suit uh, from Wet n Wild in Immortal Tears. This is a lipstick shifter. 
I don't know if you'll be able to see that swatch or not. It's that white. So, let's say, let me find one that I've already put on that's kind of dry. We're going to do this one right here. So, I'm going to put it on half of it. And you can see what I'm talking about. See how it transforms that? So, I'm going to let that go, but I have used that quite a bit. Here is another one from Laura Los Angeles in the shade Cabana. I will be keeping this one as well. I love her formula, as I said before, right there. <clears throat> Here is another NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. I'll be keeping that. I will be letting the um, Too Faced Melted Matte go in Queen Bee. This used to be one of my favorite shades, but it is just like the shade that I'm putting it next to. I actually let that shade go that I'm putting it next to. Um, I'm gonna that one right there. I'm actually gonna set this one to the side and see if I have another one that is close to that one. Here is the Cover Girl in the shade 621. This is the one that you, um, it dries down and you put that gloss on it and it stays all day. I will be keeping that one. Here is another one of those cover girls in the shade 538. Right there. <clears throat> Here is a Lux Velvet Lipstick in in Genuine. I don't know why it took me so long to read that. This is by ColourPop. That's it right there on my finger. Here is two from Bare Minerals that I'm going to let go. One is in Sugar, and the other one is in Boss. Boss is a matte, and Sugar is a gloss. I'm going to let those go. Here's another one that I'm going to let go. This is a uh, liquid lipstick from the Beauty Crop, and it's in the shade Girl Power. I'm going to let it go. I've wore this, and I've loved it, but it's time to let it go. So that one on the middle finger, the knuckle right there. Here is a uh, Lux Gloss from ColourPop in the shade Renaissance. And I will be keeping this because I love this gloss right there. <clears throat> Here is another ColourPop shade. This is in there bullet lipstick in the shade Layover, and I love that lipstick right there. So, we'll be keeping it. I wish that they would bring this formula back, because it was so stinking good. I don't know why they ever decided to give up on the bullets and go a different route. I don't know if they... Well, I know they were selling, because it was horrible trying to get the shades you wanted, because they were sold out all the time. So, I don't know what the deal was um, on that front. <laughs> A lot of this is staining my hand. Oh, let me get my little paper towel out here and put me some makeup remover on it. Okay, I'm still going to be stained up a little bit, but that works. Okay, here is one by ABH, and it is in the shade Guava. And I'm going to let this one go. It looks like that.
Here is one by Huda in the color Crush. Crush. I will be keeping that one. I love to pair that with a dark uh, lip liner. Here is the Ciate Liquid Velvet in the shade Pin Up. And I will be keeping that. Lucy, what are you doing? Lucy, get over here. I'm watching a friend of mine's dog. and I'll put a picture of her up here so you can see her. She is a little blonde cocker spaniel, and she is the cutest. So here is a Marc Jacobs gloss in the shade Sugar High. Watermelon sugar. Hi. Lucy, get out from behind there. This is in Truffle by Amuse. I used to love this lipstick. It's a little on the dry side, but that just means that it stays once you put it on. But I am going to let it go because I have others in my collection of that color. Here is the Cream Gloss by Fenty in the shade Fenty Glow. And as you all could guess, this isn't going anywhere because Fenty is one of my favorite makeup brands. That's it right there. I tend to love everything Fenty puts out. Here is a one by Pixie by Petra. This is a lip balm in the shade Natural Rose. I will be keeping this because it's just an easy, no fuss, no mess, goes with a lot of looks, colors. Here is Toasted uh, Cardamom from uh, Bot Beauty. I love the Amuse Bouche lipsticks, so I will be keeping that. Here is one from Tarte in the shade Home Slice. That's it right there. I'm going to pass that one along. Here is another ABH lipstick. This is in the shade Coconut Matte Lipstick. It is beautiful. And I am going to keep that one. <clears throat> I'm going to let this um, Bare Minerals go in the shade Everything. That's another NARS lip balm. It needs to be over there. I'm going to be keeping just a tint by ColourPop in Always Right. I love this shade. Here's my Patrick Tall lipstick in the shade She's Independent. I will be keeping this one as well. I love the Patrick Tall formula. <clears throat> here is another plumping gloss that i have by soap and glory it's in pillow plump and it's the shade nude in town while i do like this it's still not as good as the one that i showed you guys last night the color isn't as good and i don't like the applicator because it's that squeezy tube but that right there is the color. But I will be keeping it because I'm afraid I can't get that other one. Here is one by J Cat. I love this one. I have worn the piss out of it. But again, right there, because they are discontinued, I'm going to let that go. Or not discontinued, they've closed. Here is one by NYX. It's the Powder Puff Lippy. I love these lippies and they feel so comfortable. But it's got this tip on it. And I mean, you have to squeeze this sucker like you're trying to kill it to get that stuff to come out. But once it comes out, the color is so beautiful and it feels so comfortable. So that is all in this little barrel. 
Oh, fun. <clears throat> now we're going to go through this. Okay. So right off the top, here is a NYX lingerie in lip 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 I love this color, so I will be keeping it right there, right on top of that knuckle. That's another one I like to pair with a dark lip liner. I have another Wet n Wild High Shine in the shade Send Nudes. I am going to let that one go. My dose of colors in Strawberry Pop. I love this red. I love it's like an electric hot pink red. Oh, I'm keeping that one. Here's another dose of colors. It doesn't have a color on it. That's it right there on my pinky knuckle. I will be keeping that. I don't know why there's no shade name on it, though. Here is a Sephora lipstick in... I can't read the shade, but it's they're red. I am going to let this one go because I have all kinds of reds. Here is an Ilia lipstick or lip gloss in Linger. I will be keeping this one. It's a beautiful color right there on my finger. And I'm going to let this um, Tarte lipstick go. I don't know what the shade is, but it's a really dark berry. I love it, but I'm going to let it go. I have the Kat Von D in, not Kat Von D, KVD in Bow and Arrow. I'm keeping that one because I love it. I have another um, Double X uh, NYX Lingerie in the shade Flaunt It. I will not be getting rid of it either. There, that matches that queen bee. What did I do with that queen bee? Did I put it back in here? Whenever I find it, I will let that queen bee go because this one matches that shade. Here is another one by Dominique Cosmetics. It is... I'm sorry, guys, that I can't tell you the shades. They are so small and so hard to read. Heartbreak. Heartbeat or heartbreak. <sighs> Either way, I'm keeping it. It is one of those dark berries. <clears throat> Here's another one of those metallic lipsticks from AOA. I'm going to be letting that go. This is a Bite Pencil in Rose Glace. I'm going to keep that right there on my pinky. Another metallic AOA that I'm going to let go. It's in like a silver white. Here is another powder puff in by NYX in the shade Squad Goals. Come on out. Again, I don't know why they made it so hard to get this out. It's right there on my pinky. Another gloss in Roll Model by AOA. I'm keeping that. 
Here is another lipstick from Dominique Cosmetics. Love. Love something. Phew. That right there. The very pretty red. <clears throat> okay, this is Strut from ColourPop. I'm going to let it go. Here is another one from Ofra that I'm going to let go. Here is another ColourPop in the shade Wink that I'm going to let go. Um, this one is in Notion from ColourPop. I'm going to let that go. And this is from Pretty, Pretty Vulgar. My lips are sealed, and I'm going to let that go. This is from Fenty, and it is in Midnight Wasabi. I love this. I have nothing else like it. That is it right there, that green. Love it. It always makes me think of the Wicked Witch of the West. Here is another one from Jordana that I'm going to let go. Here is another lipstick from ColourPop in the shade Appy that I'm going to be keeping. And last in here is Red Hot from NYX. And let's see. Right there, that red. I will be keeping that. So hold on one second. Let me get my hands cleaned up and put these up, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back with another drawer here. I'm going to try not to swatch every one of them. I'm running out of um, clean skin. And my hand is all stained up. And I'm going to try to get through these other two drawers pretty quickly. So I've got this look, 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 liquid lipstick in Skimpy from Laura Lee Los Angeles. That is staying. I have the NYX Soft Matte Metallic Lip Cream in the shade California. And the reason I'm keeping this is it goes with another. There's Another one uh, that that goes with. So you can wear it matte or metallic. So this is a phase zero matte liquid lips. And I'm going to let that go. Here is a twist and shine from Jordana. I'm going to let that go. Here is a NYX lingerie in the shade Satin Ribbon. I like to mix this or put this on the center of my lip sometimes. So I'm keeping that. This is a Morphe lipstick in the shade Wifey. And I'm keeping that. Here is another The Balm in the shade Hola. That is it right there. Another KVD in the shade Love Struck. Another balm in the shade Salute. Looks like that. Keeping that. If I don't say anything, that means I'm keeping it. Here is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Babe Alert. I'll be keeping that one. Here is the Nude Sticks Intense Matte in the shade Kiss. Another NARS Liquid Lipstick in Low Rider. One from Jordana I'm going to let go. 
One from AOA that I'm letting go. It's a beautiful color. Here's another AOA that I'm letting go. Let's see. I was looking to see if there was any other ones that I'm just definitely going to let go in here. <clears throat> this one is in from Bare Minerals in the shade Delicate Cinnamon, and I love this shade. One from NYX. This is everything. I think this is a lip oil. Yeah, that's a lip oil. That needs to go over there with my glosses. Here is in the shade Goddess. Um, it's another one of those glosses. This is my liquid gloss in from Lawless in the uh, Forget the Filler. I'll be keeping that. This is my Revlon Untold Stories. Beautiful color. This one is from Essence. I'm going to pass it on. I have used a lot of this over the time that I've had it. Here's another one of my little Bites Beauties in the shade Good Jubilee. I will be keeping that one. Here's another Propa Beauty in the shade Finesse. Love it. If it don't feel a little oily, like it's the oils come out in it or something. I hope not. I hope it's still pretty and works good. I want to test it out to see. Ooh, my hand is cramping. Do you guys a hand ever cramp? Look at that. Can you see that? The way it's messed up and caved in compared to that one. It draws those in. Ugh. I don't know why it does that. So doing it again. Here is another Bite Beauty in Chai. I love this one. <clears throat> Another Bite Beauty in Chutney. Another favorite. I love Bite Beauty, if you can't tell. Here is another AOA. I love this lipstick, and I love the freaking stinking color. But the damn thing, you got to pull it out of the component to twist it up. But I love the color of it, so I'm going to keep it for right now. I wish they would do this formula in those little pink bullets because I think the formula in those pink bullets are not as good. Here's another Stila I have in the shade Baki, B-A-C-I. Here is my YSL. It's just a number for the shade. Here's another Catrice uh, uh, lip gloss. And then I have all of the Velvet Lips from AOA. And I'm keeping all of them. Because I love this formula. So I'm keeping all of those. They're just a beautiful formula. Let me get all this dumped back in. Okay, guys, we're down to our last drawer. Whew. You think this was bad? Just wait till we hit them palettes. Okay, right on top here, I have a NARS lipstick. This is in the shade Orgasm. It's not very pigmented. You have to just... I'm going to get let this go. I, I just don't like this. Hopefully somebody else will like it. I have another um, 
Lip Clay from Kaleidos in the shade Wild Apple. As per the name, it's red. Have another ABH. This is in the shade Orange Blossom. I'm going to let it go. Here is... Bell and Argent is the brand. Three Plays is the lipstick. It's a very bougie looking packaging. Um, and it's a very beautiful color. I thought I was going to let that go, but I'm actually going to keep it. I like that color. Here is uh, Nature's Cartel. I love this shade. It's not much, but I love it. And it's in the shade 90s Nostalgia. Keeping that one. Here is the matte that goes with that other um, NYX in California. So, of course, I'm keeping that. Here is another Maybelline in Nude Thrill. Of course, I'm keeping my Maybellines because I love it. That dark ring is where I've mixed it with other stuff. Here's another one of these bling blingies that I'm going to let go. Another NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Strawberry Cheesecake. That's it right there. Keeping that one. Here is an e.l.f. Sheer Slick in Grapefruit. It doesn't smell like grapefruit or anything. Um, I am going to keep that because it's just one of those easy, feel-good lip applications. Here is another autumn lip gloss or lipstick in... Alien, I feel like I've already done this one. I'm thinking that I might have multiple. I don't know at what point this stopped recording, but I'm halfway through this last drawer. I hope it caught all this. But I'm going to let go of this AOA lipstick, this e.l.f. lip balm, and the ABH in the shade Leche. I'm going to let those all go. Um, This is it from Joa. I'm your jelly babe. It's a jelly lipstick in the shade Hubby. It's really pretty, and I'm going to keep that. KVD in the shade Dagger. Love it. Um, this one is in the shade Storm, and it is a really dark shade. That's it right there. I'm going to let it go. I have another Huda Beauty in the shade Shio. Shio, Shio. That's it right there. If it's going to focus. There we go. Here is Persona. It's a honey gloss. I'm going to let this go. Here is another Marc Jacobs in the shade Preach. And it's another one of those that twists up. I've got this one by Elf and Jen Atkins. It's the lipstick on one end, the lip liner in the other. And it does not tell the shade. That's the lipstick right there. Keeping that. Here is another Bite. Beauty, Cherry Truffle, keeping that. CoverGirl, very violet. Love this color. Love. Keeping that. MAC. MAC in the shade Reverence. Beautiful. This is a Flower Beauty. You've got lipstick on one side and a lip gloss on the other. I really enjoy this formula, too. This is their Mix and Matte Lip Duo 
in the shade Honey Nude. I wear this a lot. I have the Fenty Heat Lip Balm in shade Hot Cherry. It's not hot, but I like it. Here is another Sexy Mother Pucker in the shade Rose and Shine. This is a Lancome in pure color pink parfait shimmer. I have had this for years and I'm going to let it go. Here is a Buxom Lip Gloss in Claire. It is just a shimmery, shimmery gloss and I'm going to keep that. I'm going to let this MAC lip gloss and lip glass in I'm not sure of the shade but I'm going to let that go it's like a purple here is my Fenty in the shade Flamingo Acid that's it right there love it going to keep it here is, this is from Nick, Nickack, New York. I'm not even sure. Oh, this is my black. I'm definitely keeping this. It's the only black that I have other than a liquid black from um, Kaleidos. And this is a Dominique Cosmetics lipstick. Of course, I can't read it. It's too small. That's the color right there. So, guys, that is all of my liquid or my lipsticks in all the shades that I have used. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I did get rid of a lot of lipsticks. Let me show you. This is what I'm getting rid of. So it's a boxy charm box overflowing full. So I think I've done really, really well on the lipsticks. So now the next video in this series will be my eyeshadow uh, palette declutter. And it's probably going to be a two to three part series because I have a lot. So guys, until next time, I love you guys and God bless. <laughs>